on the boardwalk in Point Pleasant Beach this afternoon. Jim? Good afternoon. A beautiful afternoon here in Point Pleasant Beach. And this area, very unique because it's one of the only areas on the Jersey Shore where the majority of the beaches are owned by a private entity, that being Jenkinson's. Now, last month, a lawsuit was thrown out of court when Jenkinson's filed against the town of Point Pleasant Beach. Now, both sides in the last few weeks have come together to restore this town back to its original slogan, a nice place for nice people. Who can forget scenes like this last year in Point Pleasant Beach? Out of control crowds tarnishing the atmosphere of the family resort town. Fights, mountains of trash left behind. Mayor Paul Kinitra says this won't happen in 2021. If you come here and you disrespect Point Pleasant Beach, you're going to go home with a nice souvenir as a ticket. The garbage, the um, you know disrespectful crowds, definitely something needs to be done about it. Janine Bedour spends Monday mornings walking the beaches with other locals, picking up trash left behind. She feels optimistic about this new agreement between the town and its largest business. Hopefully we can, everybody can come together and if everybody just does their part, it'll, you know, it'll be better for everyone. The agreement calls for Jenkinson's to add more private security and off-duty police officers, more trash cans, more beach cleaning crews, more beach patrols. The town will add more trash cans and tourist areas at side streets, more sanitation staff, 38 additional police officers, more on-duty police at all times, and strict compliance of local ordinances. We've been here for almost 100 years. Our slogan is the family fun place. The town wants a family-friendly crowd, and myself and Mayor Knitra, we have a great relationship working together. And uh, at the end of the day, we have a common goal, and we just put, a, put our differences aside and uh, came to an agreement. It's absolutely vital that the Storinos, Jenkinsons, Point Pleasant Beach, myself, are all on the same page, and we're going to see the dividends that it pays, hopefully this coming weekend and for the whole summer to go forward. In addition, alcohol will only be served in designated areas. All local ordinances must be strictly followed, and loudspeaker noise simply will not be tolerated. On the boardwalk in Jenkinson's Point Pleasant Beach, I'm Jim Murdoch, News 12, New Jersey.